In the 18th chapter of the book of Luke, we find uh, a bunch of people began bringing children to uh, Jesus. They began bringing their, their, their babies and their little ones to Jesus so that he could touch them. And the disciples, they began to rebuke them. They, they began to shoo them away. They said, no, you know, get out of here. And Jesus said, no, let them come. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these, he says in Matthew chapter 18, verse 16. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Now, the kingdom of heaven doesn't just belong to children as we look at this and just belong to babies. It belongs to everyone, but Jesus said it belongs to such as these. And you know, in the next verse, he says right there in verse 17, he says, truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it at all. Whoever doesn't receive it as a child, the kingdom of God as a child won't enter it at all. And you know, what is Jesus talking about? We've been talking talking about faith all week long and we've been talking about the importance of faith and the need to have faith in Jesus and and you know of of what all of that um uh, involves in having that faith of Jesus, but a child Jesus uses as the perfect picture of what faith is, of what the perfect picture of what faith is all about, that we need to come to Jesus as a child. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And, and, and he says, truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive, receive, take it in, the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it at all. And you know, that's extremely important as we look at it. And you know, you look at a child and a child, you, you could tell a child, you could tell a child about the Easter bunny. You could tell a child about Santa Claus. You could tell a child about the tooth fairy. You could tell a, a, a child that Superman flies. You could tell a child all sorts of things and that child is going to believe just about anything that you tell that child, really, that child will believe anything you tell them because they have that childlike faith. And, you know, we need to be careful about what we teach our children because, you know, we can lead them astray. And so we, we, we need to uh, guard that very closely of what they're allowed to see, what they're allowed to hear, and what we ourselves as authority figures within their life, what we tell them. But they're going to they're gonna take it in. They're going to receive it. Just like Jesus said, truly I say to you, whoever does not receive, take it in. They, they have received it. They've taken it into their life. The kingdom of heaven, like a child, will not enter it at all. And so we need to be like those children. Now you say, well, those children are, you know, they're childish and they're foolish. And so for that reason, they're going to believe anything. Now, as we've already looked at, there's a substance to our faith. And though the Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight, we don't walk blindly because we we have that substance and the substance is the word of God. But friends, those children have those authoritative figures within their lives or they hopefully we pray, pray that they have authoritative figures within their life that are leading them the right way. And when the, the authoritative figure says, to that child, this is the wrong way and this is the right way. You know, that child receives that. That child takes that in and they believe it because their mom or their dad or their teacher or their Sunday school teacher, somebody that is an authoritative figure within their life, they've taught them that. And so they receive it and they take it in. And you know, a child wants to learn. A child has that desire to learn and that willingness to learn and receive these things and take these things in. And, and and what you tell them, they're going to believe you. And so again, we need to be careful what we tell them. But friends, we have the authoritative word of God right here. And God says, this is the way it is. The gospel is all about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And if you confess your sins, he'll forgive you of your sins because he paid for your sins through his shed blood on the cross of Calvary. And all you have to do is repent of your sins, confess your sins to him. He'll wipe them out. He'll move them as far as the east is from the west. If you invite them into your life to be your savior, if you invite them into your life to be the, your Lord, we have the request that is made known to him and whatever we ask in accordance to his will, he's going to hear us and he's going to answer us. And friends, that is receiving it such as one of these. We have received the truth. We simply have heard it. It's the authoritative word of God. We believe it. We receive it. We accept 
accept it into our lives. And just by that simple childlike faith, we say, yes, Lord, I believe your word to be truth and I receive it into my life and I accept it and I accept you by faith as my Lord and as my savior. That's faith. That's what faith is as a child. So I encourage you, friend, just simply place your faith in Jesus, and that's good news. It's good news worthy of sharing. Would you share this video so others can hear, so others can receive, so others can believe? Share this video. What time is it? It's time to share the good news.